Well, Rainer Werner Fassbinder was one of the major filmmakers I grew up with. I discovered his films when I was quite young. And his cinema was something that helped me to get onto my own development path. I see him as a big brother, if you like. And when I was a student, I basically went through his whole oeuvre which were very moving to me, but also very interesting aesthetically and politically for me. My desire to come back to Fassbinder really comes from the French lockdown, when all directors were wondering whether they'd be able to continue making films and under what circumstances. So I then came back to The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kant. It was quite an unusual filming process. We were basically all locked up there um, because of COVID. And it started as a play, of course. It's quite autobiographical. In 1975, and I talked to Julien Lorenz, his last partner, who told me that it was indeed about his backstory with uh, his actor Gunter Kaufmann. So with this incarnation of it, I decided to come back to this classic, but with the sexes reversed. The play, The Bitter Tears, was just a role to play. There are lots of notes in there, so it's a job for me to do. Now, I know Francois Ozion very well now, so we trust each other, so I could really do it to the full. I was, I had that ability to relax in front of his camera. And then we looked for somebody to play Amir, and we were privileged to meet lots of actors. But clearly, when Khalil walked into the room, we knew it was going to be him. He's the one. Because he was very willing to learn and also hugely talented, like a kind of James Dean, a natural talent. So it was able. I was able to go right to the limit with him, thanks to Francois. <laughs> and I was very lucky to work with Denis, and I felt that there was a lot that was fueling me and taking me forward, and he gave me that confidence. So as soon as we started rehearsing with him, I felt much more confident and motivated. So I wanted to give him the liberty to really be that character and come forward. And, but he gave me that confidence and sense of protection throughout the whole shooting process. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was the one who got me going. So I'm very grateful to him. And I'm sure it's thanks to him that the shooting went so well. Yes, I think I did learn a lot about human relationships and relationships of power, as I was mentioning just now. Things are pretty complex. Power is not necessarily what you think it is. At the same time, what I was really trying to do was um, bring out the suffering of the character of Peter von Kant. He is not a very lovable character until you see him suffering. You see his pain. And you see a much more intimate side of him. And talking about Hannah Shigula, about Fassbinder, um, it really told me that that was his dilemma. There was no such thing as pure love for him. He always had relationships that didn't satisfy him. He, was, he had such an idealized picture of love and human relationships that he had a string of disappointments. And so it's very much about suffering. That's the impression I get from it. Well, thank you.